This is the new BMW 6 Series. Now, I bet you're thinking 6 Series. The 6 Series up till now has been a coupe, it's been a convertible, it's been a four door. This is obviously a liftback. Well, it's part of BMW's new direction. They're basically taking what was the 5 Series GT, they're calling it the 6 Series GT, and this is it. In particular, this is the 640i X-Drive, which will be the range topper when it arrives in Australia later this year. It's got a three litre turbocharged engine, it's got four wheel drive, but it's built for comfort according to BMW. So let's get out there and see how it drives. Up until now, the 6 Series name has been reserved for BMW's big coupe, convertible and grand sport sedan. But that's all set to change with the arrival of the 8 Series, which was shown in concept form at the Frankfurt Motor Show, and will take over that role eventually. What we have here in the 6 Series GT is a large liftback that pretty much replaces the old 5 Series GT. It's based on the 7 Series platform and definitely built for comfort. Now one of the funny things about the 6 Series is that it's almost like a crossover between a normal car and almost an SUV. You sit up a bit higher than in a normal car, so the hip point gives you a better view of the road because you're not sitting down near the road itself. Now, there's a few different driving modes, which is usual these days. We're in comfort at the moment, and that means that the air suspension, which is standard on Australian cars, is set to quite soft. It's very supple. It feels almost a little bit sort of too mellow. That's okay. You can pump it up to sport. Everything, including the ride, the steering, even the gearbox gives you a better response time. It's an eight-speed automatic gearbox, of course. You've got flappy paddles here to change gears, but you're really not gonna use them that much, you'll find. Just better to leave everything set to comfort or sport, and off you go. Power comes from either a four-cylinder turbo in the $124,000 630i GT, or a much gruntier 250 kilowatt turbo six in this, the 640i GT. The 640 has all wheel drive, so traction is never a problem. And it accelerates hard, although with plenty of smoothness and refinement, and noise levels are low. About the only downside is that the standard air suspension, while giving a very comfortable ride, is a bit too soft for ultimate handling thrills. But everything can be firmed up in sport mode for a little bit more excitement. For anyone who's familiar with the new 5 Series or the 7 Series, what you see in front of the driver is all pretty familiar. Uh, you've got projected instrument panels, so it'll change colours depending on what mode you're in. There's a big screen, which I think is 10 inches wide, so you've got plenty of space there to see the GPS and other functions which are controlled by the iDrive down here. The 6 Series GT arrives in Australia before the end of the year and will appeal to buyers looking for space, comfort, not a little performance and plenty of luxury. There's no doubting as a concept it's pretty left field, but its predecessor was surprisingly popular for a niche model and there seems a good chance the 6 Series will also find plenty of new homes.